That's right, gonna play some PS4, baby. What we wanna play? <laughs> we wanna play Gravity Rush. Maybe open our copy of Toro. How about this one? This is a good one right here. Horizon Chase Turbo. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't be holding a popsicle around my video games. We should probably get some protection for these bad boys before something bad happens. All right, so jump on eBay. Let's type in PS4 Game Protector. D-E-C-T-O-R-S, Protectors. And here we go. 10 times Sony PlayStation PS4 CIB game. Clear plastic protective box protectors case. All right, that's what we want. So we'll get these bad boys in and we'll review them. What is going on guys welcome to this episode of odds and ends and today we have a package from buzz and bingo's moon circus i always have to look at the title i can never remember that for whatever reason they are in the video game protector business so we got some of these sleeves for ps4 games but i suspect that these will work for the xbox one and maybe even ps3 games we'll give it a try so i asked the guy about this name i said that is an, a very very interesting name I messaged him on uh, on uh, eBay. He got back to me real fast and he said his, his friend that passed away was a linguist and came up with this name because he thought it rolled off the tongue and sounded really good. So Buzz and Bingo's Moon Circus, I will leave a link to their eBay store down below if you are interested in purchasing these. Full disclaimer though, I did not get any of this for free. I didn't get any uh, additional discounts or compensations. I didn't get any promises for any future freebies, discounts or compensations. So this review is mine and mine alone. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. We've got one of these bad boys. They're pretty easy to put together. You just kind of fold them into place. May take some additional crimping. There we go. You just kind of fold them into place like that. Now one thing to note, it's kind of nice that they do this. But there, if you, if you look real close, you can see there's a line right there. There's actually a plastic film on these things, which is nice. Keeps them, keeps them a little bit more protected, you know, when they're in transport. So you just take the film off, and then you fold the sides down. Now here's where it kind of gets tricky. Because with these bottom parts, they don't actually fold very well. So what you have to do is you have to take another game and put it in there and kind of fold it around. So I'll, I'll grab a game and we'll do that. So here's, here's Titanfall 2 and this is, this is what I'm talking about right here. You have to uh, put the game in and then you fold in the, uh, the top tabs here like so, fold that down. And then it's really this this one right here that's the, the biggest problem. So we'll snap that together. All right, get in there. And you can see that it's still at an angle. So what you have to do, you have to push the game in and then really just clamp down on the corners. Make everything fit nice and tight. Get in there and then do the same thing with the top part really clamp that down you don't want to do this with your rare and expensive games in there i'll tell you that oh toro fell over so there we go everything fits in there quite nice doesn't uh doesn't have a lot of shake to it so you might have to crimp on these these sides a little bit more just to kind of get it a little bit more form fitting but uh there you go yeah they work kind of nice they look nice so we'll get our rare games and stuff in there and then we'll try it with xbox one games and ps3 games all right so here we go we got a case let's see if it works with playstation 3 games got my copy of ncaa college football 14 that i got from the mighty mighty hob G's. fits right in there pretty nice press on the, the 
corner there. And there we go. Actually, it looks kind of nice. What about Xbox One games? Mortal Kombat X. Try it out. Get, in. Get over here. And again, you gotta kind of push down on the the angles here, the top corner. But uh, the Xbox One games are actually a little bit loose in there, but uh, kind of it does the job. You can hear it shaking around. All right, so sort of final verdict time here. I, I highly recommend this product. You can get like ten for ten dollars, or I, I got mine. There were twenty five of them for about twenty bucks, so they're cheaper the more you buy. But I definitely think it's worthwhile to have a stack of these hanging around your game room just in case you happen to come across a rare PS3, PS4, or Xbox One game. You've got some type of protection for them right away. I actually put all of my sealed games, even my common games that were sealed, I just went ahead and put them in the, the protective cases. That way I don't have to worry about them getting damaged or the seals getting ripped or anything like that. I love that they fit three different consoles, your Xbox Ones, uh, your PS4s, and your PlayStation 3s. So I like the versatility there. One thing that I absolutely I just spaced out, wasn't even thinking about, a lot of the times with these uh, limited run and strictly limited games, you know, they come with extras. So there's the uh, postcard that comes with Gundamoniums, and then here's a trading card that comes with uh, Next Machina, uh, which is a limited run game, of course. But sometimes you get stickers and little extras like that. They actually make a nice way to store everything together, keep it all nice and complete inside of a safe case. So I thought that was like a really cool little bonus. Let me know what you think about this product. If you've ordered these products before, let me know how you like them in the comment section down below. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. And we'll see you on the next one.